there is a Chinese battery maker that is going to build US battery cell factory for a mysterious car maker. Could this be Tesla? Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. If the US is ever going to catch up in the electric vehicle race, establishing domestic battery production will be a must, notes Charles Morris in Evanex.com. So the news that Chinese battery cell manufacturer Goshen High Tech envisions establishing LFP battery cell production in the United States is a welcome news. It's especially even more exciting news for Tesla funds in California because the company reports that it has agreed to supply, I mean this Chinese company, reports that it has agreed to supply 200 gigawatt hour of LFP battery cells to an unnamed quote-unquote large US car maker between 2023 and 2028. Could this large US automaker be Tesla? Goshen Wright uh, wrote in his filing on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange uh, that US Goxan agreed to build new production cap capacity in the United States to meet the customer's battery procurement needs. The two parties will explore the possibility of establishing a joint venture company. The scope may cover investment in upstream materials and downstream battery recycling industries. On the one hand, based on the customer's needs, the company will export LFP through the battery production base in mainline China. On the other hand, the two parties plan to localize the production and supply LFP batteries in the United States. The LFP battery products will be used in the customer's electric cars and other applications. Now let's see, who could this large listed automobile company in the United States be? Well, large company, Tesla is a large company. Tesla is a listed company. Tesla is the largest electric car company maker in the United States. There is a certain car maker that recently announced plans to phase in lithium iron phosphate LFP battery cells for its standard range vehicles in the United States. No LFP cells are currently being produced in the United States, so establishing production here could be very handy for that mysterious manufacturer and Tesla has offered a choice to its buyers between LFP and NCA battery packs. Uh, if you remember, in September 10, 2021, there was a news that for most car buyers, their technological uh, automotive knowledge amounts to this. The, they know a car has an engine and they want the biggest, most powerful one they can afford. Early adopting electric vehicles seem like to be a little more knowledgeable and Tesla is taking the unprecedented step of giving buyers a choice between two alternative battery chemistries. Then in September, Tesla had reportedly been contacting Model 3 reservation holders in the United States and offering the option of choosing lithium iron phosphate, that means LFP battery cells, instead of the usual nickel cobalt aluminum oxide NCA battery cells. So this is why there is a good ground that we can say that this mysterious automaker can be potentially uh, Tesla. Here is another hint. Goshen's announcement mentions using the cells in electric vehicles and other applications. And we're only aware of one car maker that prominently uses Li-ion cells in products other than vehicles. That would be the seller of the Powerwall, Powerpack, and Megapack stationary storage batteries. And that is Tesla. As electric notes, the biggest giveaway might be the volume involved in the deal. 200 gigawatt hour of sales between 2023 and 2028 is enough to supply about half a million electric vehicles per year. There aren't too many US car makers producing anywhere near that many electric vehicles at the moment. In fact, there is only one and its logo resembles a cat's nose. That's Tesla. In case all these clues aren't enough to give away the identity of the confidential car maker, consider the location of Goshen's US headquarters, Fremont, California. 
So what do you think, friends? Do you think Goshen is building a U.S. factory for Tesla or for another car maker? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and have a wonderful day. God bless you, everyone. Let's move on to our Look at Tesla's story. new video in which it shows how it has improved its customer service in China. Friends, you are about to see a video released by Tesla China in which Tesla shows its service in China and how it is improving it. Note that the video people in, vid in the video people can apparently call Tesla in China. Sawyer Merritt, a Tesla Twitter blogger, rightfully asks, why doesn't the rest of the world get this after watching this video? I feel like like Tesla China has better customer service than any center here in the United States. People on Twitter keep asking if Tesla owners can get this type of improved Tesla service in the United States. I think Tesla United States needs to take China's example with these educational ads. Apple's early ad campaigns were brilliant because they taught people what their phones could do, both selling new ones and educating existing owners on new features. Features. Tesla service now looks way better in China and I think Tesla could do the same that Apple did. Now let's watch the video and please let me know your thoughts about the Tesla service in the United States, Canada and Europe. Do you feel like Tesla is improving its service in the United States, Canada and Europe as well? And if you are in China watching this video from China, please let me know guys what are, the, what are your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and let's watch the video together. We have some breaking news from Tesla Giga Texas about the first new Tesla Model Y vehicles spotted at Giga Factory Texas. Do you remember that last week I reported several reports, filed several reports in which I said that from what we see Tesla Giga Texas has already started the production at Giga Factory Texas. Today we're seeing the first new Tesla Fresh Model Ys at Giga Factory Texas and we're going to take a look at them very closely. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from Torque news.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story so fresh batch of new tesla model y vehicles built at giga factory texas were recently spotted at giga texas in austin the electric vehicle manufacturer's new headquarters speculations suggest uh, reports tesla Radi, that uh, these sightings could be one of the first fresh batches of model y's 
produced at Giga Texas. I like the color, I like the look. While there were only a few model wise, the sightings hint at at least trial production has started at Giga Texas. The latest development aligns, developments actually align with Wedbash analyst Dan Ives' estimate earlier last week, um, this month, so, so that the Texas Giga Texas, actually Tesla Giga Texas would start model Y production in the next seven to 10 days. He also stated that testing was nearly complete and Tesla was ready to get the green light for Giga Texas. I think they were then doing some paperwork. Tesla certainly seems more than ready to kick off Model Y production at Giga Texas. There have been quite a few exciting developments at the new Giga factory since 2022 began on January 6. More solar panels from Longi Green Energy were seen on Giga Texas roof, as I reported earlier around that time. Last week, Giga Texas received a new batch of Giga Press deliveries for the Model Y. You can see, guys, all of those reports at Torque News YouTube channel. Tesla started Giga Press test back in May 2021, and a few photos of the mega casts were shared with the public. The mega casts looked identical to those used in the Model Y. Tesla also confirmed that it produced a few alpha prototypes of the Cybertruck, though there have been no sightings yet of deliveries pertaining to the vehicle's 8,000 ton Giga Press. Tesla Giga Texas is expected to start Model Y production soon. Tesla said its quarter four and uh, FY 2021 earnings call for Wednesday, January 2026, actually January 26, 2022. Elon Musk stated he would provide a production roadmap at the earnings call. Tesla may also provide an update on both Giga Texas and Giga Berlin during call. Now, Jeff Roberts, who often flies drones like the uh, Joe Tegmeyer over Gigafactory Texas shared a picture on a bunch of brand new Model Y vehicles uh, uh, charging at the factory. So credit for this picture goes to Jeff Roberts. And uh, these Model Ys look brand new out of the factory, but uh, it can't be confirmed that they were produced at Gigafactory Texas, albeit likely or to what extent they were built there. So um, if you have more information about the situation with Gigafactory Texas, Texas Model Y or Giga Berlin Model Y or any other interesting Tesla info, friends, feel free to reach out uh, uh, to me uh, through the uh, contact information on our YouTube channel uh, or our Twitter. Again, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I look forward to hearing your comments. What do you think about these images shared by Jeff Roberts, friends? And uh, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel for the follow-ups on these and Giga Berlin and Tesla issues. And God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you and give us thumbs up please like this video if you found this report helpful i'll see you soon in our next report let's move on to our next tesla story